Voters in Sedona rejected a measure that would have allowed workers to sleep in their cars overnight because of the high cost of living in that area in a popular park. That's right. The proposal came in response to the city's affordable housing shortage. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly is in Sedona tonight at the location where this plan would have been implemented. The proposal would have turned six acres of Western Gateway Cultural Park, where we are now, into dedicated parking spaces for those living in their cars. A temporary solution for many struggling to find affordable housing. It's known for majestic red rocks and popular hiking trails, bringing in millions from all over to take it in. But what Sedona doesn't have right now is housing. It is a dire situation. A problem that's only grown over the years. The average home price is just short of a million dollars, with rent averaging 3,500 bucks a month, forcing some local workers with full-time jobs to live in their cars. As we speak, we actually do have employees that do do that, and that is not an exaggeration. Lisa Dahl is the owner of several restaurants in Sedona. With 300 total employees, the lack of homes is also hurting business. I'm missing bartenders, I'm missing bar managers, I'm missing servers, the list goes on and on. Trying to fill those positions, nearly impossible. You want to employ that person, and they have to say, I can't take the job because I can't find a place to live. Which is why the city proposed a ballot measure that, if approved, would turn a small portion of this 40-acre open space into dedicated overnight parking for those workers where they can sleep in their car, with bathrooms, showers, and a dedicated attendant watching over the area. It was called the Safe Place to Park program, but the majority of Sedona voters said no giving it another name. There was a lot of popular opposition to the homeless car park. Bill Noonan is one of them. He and others were concerned it would bring crime and drug use to the popular park. Sedona will never be the same. It's a clean, safe, beautiful place. Keep it that way. He also claimed the way the measure was written, those who are disabled or retired could also stay here. When asked about the issue of workers living in their cars. I don't think that it's such an, uh, an enormous problem, certainly not as big a problem as I believe the city has suggested that it is. With this program now shut down. Building affordable housing is the number one solution. It doesn't happen overnight. I'm told there are future developments for housing here in Sedona and also neighboring towns, but it could take years before they're ready. We're in Sedona. Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right, Chase, thank you.